Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with monthly read for the month of April 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, let's see what is coming in for you for this uh, month of April time. I will be adding messages from your person, oracle cards and color cards in this reading. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID. In the description box, you can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what is coming in for you. Gemini's, what is coming in for you in the month of April? Wheel of Fortune. The Moon. Knight of Swords. Somebody is returning back from the past. That's for sure. Somebody's coming towards you. Somebody's going to talk uh, talk about like, you know, maybe you have forgotten them and this and that uh, when when they are missing you badly or something like that. Uh, hangman, Six of Cups. Yes, somebody's returning back and they're going to blame you for like not reaching out to them or something like that. Nine of Swords and I need the deck. We do have the Knight of Wands. I really feel like, you know, whoever this person is that I see coming back to you, um, they are going to act as if like, you know, you are the one who has walked away or you are the one who has ended the relationship. You are the one who has completely forgotten them when they have been the one doing all of that. Now, I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, you really love this person a lot. You are going to let this person talk shit. But at the same time, you don't know if you need to give this person a chance or not because they have been very immature. They have been talking, 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 and they have been doing nothing with their actions. So I really feel like, you know, you would feel like, okay, fine. Like, you know, if they missed you, if they want you, if they, you know, really love me, why, why don't they, you know, remove all the blocks around this connection and they take action towards you and to, to own this connection, to, to accept this connection and to move on, you know, with, with taking things next level, next level with you. Why don't they do that? So I really see that there will be a lot of conflicts coming up for you in this month time with this person when they are going to come back to you, they are going to approach you, they are going to tell you that they missed you and this and that. You are going to be like asking them, uh, you know, why, why are we not together then? So I really feel like, you know, there will be like a lot of, uh, I really feel like, you know, somebody's coming back and they are reviving your emotions for them. And then you're going to be like, well, what's the point? So that's what I see coming up. Somebody from the past is returning back for sure. Maybe this is somebody that you have been trying to kind of like, you know, get over with. But then this person keeps coming back and you are unable to do that. You are unable to break free from this person and their, you know, thoughts and, you know, the, you missing them and all of that. You love this person though, but at the same time, you don't know if it's worth giving this person a chance or not. So I really see that um, you feel like, you know, you are stuck again. You know, that's going to be your words, probably, you know, uh, you know, here they are. And like, I don't know what I got to do now. So I really feel like, you know, for majority of you, um, you will have your concerns because this person is not ready to give you the commitment that you desire. Um, and you want that now for very few of you that this would come through. But I feel like, you know, they are going to. If they are ever going to marry you, commit to you, um, give you what you wanted with them, it is going to be very much like a secret. It's not going to be like something that you're going to be sharing out with the world. You might get married to this person. You might get married to this, uh, you know, uh, in, in a situation where you are keeping it secret. You're not going to tell anyone that you got married because this person really wants you to get married to them. Now, I really feel like, you know, maybe it's it's going to be for some, something for, for all of you out there. Maybe this person is going to give you a proposal like, you know, um, you know, you have to decide, are you ready to take this proposal? Now, for some of you, probably this person has another person in their life uh, and they really don't want to, you know, or maybe they are not in a circumstances where they could leave that situation for you. So probably they are going to be like, you know, OK, fine, let's get married. Uh, I can't do much about this situation. So let it be there. But I want to marry you. So for some of you, whatever you want, whatever you desire, it's coming. Like, you know, this person is ready to commit to you. This person is ready to give you what you want. But you forgot to mention when you were trying to manifest it that you wanted commitment and you wanted to be the only person in their life. So I really feel like, you know, your marriage, your commitment might come through for you in the month of April. But 
not the way you want it, not the way where they choose you and like, you know, make things official and everything. I really feel like, you know, you might be getting married to this. Wow, there's a strong chance that you're going to get married to this person secretly. But is it going to be worth it? You know, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, probably you would be happy initially. Okay, fine. I got married to this person. But I really see you have some sort of disappointment later on by, you know, especially if, if your family is not involved at all. I really feel like, you know, it is going to be nothing less than a trouble because you are going to be inviting a lot of chaos in your life for doing so. Even though you got your wish granted, but at the same time, there will be a lot of drama happening in your life. So make sure that you don't do that. Uh, that's that's my genuine, like, you know, um, suggestion, I would say, because I really see you struggle later on, especially if, if you are one of those people whose family's influence are very important uh domin dominating your life right now i really feel like you know it's going to be a wrong decision to to get married secretly with someone why because um probably they would they would tell you to get married to someone else or something like that might come through so you would not be kind of like you know ready to deal with that kind of pressure you're already going to be dealing with a lot if, if you are going to get married with this person secretly um and there will be a lot of disappointment coming along with it but if you choose to hide it from your initial family, you would not have any support. So make sure that you don't make that mistake. If if you want to go ma and get married to this person, make sure that you're having your confidence there. But if you don't have that, I really see you struggle then. I really feel like and it's very important for you to know, do you want this marriage or not? Because I really feel like you, know, you might get married to this person, but there could also be a third party involved. Now, the third party could be another person in their life that they are not ready to leave for you. They want you and they want them as well or something like that might come through so make sure that you're aware of what you're doing with your life because i really see something shitty coming in for you if if you choose this marriage proposal with this person so it's if it's not coming through or if it's not happening the way you desire probably you know maybe you need to change your um affirmations you need you need to change your uh, you know, uh, desire around it and make it very clear to the universe that look, I want to get married to this person, but yes, this way. So make it clear to the divine so it happens that way. But right now, I really feel like in the offer, the marriage, the opportunity that is coming in, it's not like, um, it's not going to be like emotionally satisfying. Yes, it can give you happiness for some time, but uh, it's a big no for, for from my side, especially seeing the energies coming along with it. I, I really would not recommend you are getting your wish granted for sure but the happiness is missing in that wish you just wanted to get married so just just kind of like you know watch out for that let's see the colors let's see what color could be lucky or significant for you we do have blue activate your healing power number 37 blue color is going to be lucky or significant for you for this month and then we do have jade take action number 32 for some of you it could be age 32 and 37 as well i really feel like you know it's time for you to take action make sure that you're listening to your heart listening to your inner soul before you take any major decision of your life around this person i really feel like you know this offer coming towards you is going to be like nothing less than a miracle for some of you yellow color could be significant too um in this month time uh but i really feel like you know it's it's very important for you to know that uh is it an ending of a tough cycle or is it a beginning of a tough cycle? Uh, you know, that's something which you will have to be very carefully like looking into before you make any major decision of your life with this person. Um, because I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you are inviting a not so good cycle in your life. Uh, it's time for you to nurture yourself and um, try to take care of yourself right now and watch your own actions and activities as you would watch of your child. So I don't know why I'm picking up that energy, but that's what it is. Like, you know, if, if you were your own child and you were to do something like you are going to do now, how would you act and behave and react? Because I really feel like, you know, you have to look at yourself as a, as a child right now. There is something that is good that you want, but probably it's not good for you or something like that. I don't know how it is panning out in your situation, but just, just look with, look into it. Uh, before you take any major decision um let's see some messages from your person let's see what you have to add to the read what do they want you to know what do they want you to know
I am a dedicated lover once I am in. So that's what they want you to know. They really want you to know that if they are in, they are completely in. So you would not have any doubt around it. But at the same time, maybe like, you know, initially they were not ready to commit and that's why they were not committing. But now when they are committing, yes, they would be a dedicated person. They would be making sure that you are being taken care of. But at the same time, there is something that they are going to hide from the world. So which is not a good sign. Uh, you were the best thing in my life. So this person really wants you. But at the same time, they don't want to reveal it to the world. That's for sure. Um, you can you came closer than anyone so I really feel like you know this person is into you but probably they are not ready to reveal it to the world for some of you could be dealing with someone who is a celebrity figure or something like that public figure and they really don't want to reveal it to anyone right now just yet but um, yeah it's it's your life your decision but what I see here I really don't think that it's gonna be a good idea to go into something where you are being in a, in a in that spot where your connection with this person is hidden uh, from the world or from your especially from your initial families uh, if uh, if that is coming in i would suggest it's a it's a you know it's a definite um uh no for 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 you to accept because um you are you know i see depressing energy coming up if, if that's what you're going to accept from this person so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like and subscribe if you're willing to purchase any of the services that are offered check the description box for that till i do the next read take care bye